Well, hello, YouTubers. I hope everybody's well. Okay, now, today we're going to talk about warranty, okay? Warranty on an item. This one here, so far it's working good. Very happy. Still more tests to do. Hopefully, maybe by Sunday, I'll do another uh, test on uh, music, beautiful music. And we'll see what, what it does. But I... I like I've, I've decided now one week is enough to test the amps before I give it back to the or hand it over to the uh, to its owner so at the moment it's fantastic I love it I love this amp it's beautiful isn't it sheer beauty look at that eh? I cleaned a little bit the faceplate for the customer but today we're going to talk about warranty okay no one there's no one in Australia down under Australia that gives good warranty as we do and it's a legit warranty okay all right number one we're insured so if I repair an item okay and you bring it back to me okay all right it's covered I get paid for the insurance I do a claim bang there's no excess and all that. That's anyway. That's my business. It's got nothing to do with the actual, with the owner, with the customer. That's my business. But the situation is, it's covered. You get free pickup, and or free shipping, all all over Australia. Free pickup, free shipping. So you can ship it to us for free. We'll, we'll reimburse you, etc. Uh, etc. Et okay. If you're local uh, in Melbourne, uh, it's free pickup and. Uh, and free drop off okay okay so basically that's how it is right? that's how we work because we're insured okay with our warranty you don't get two months three months four months or 12 months no usually on an amp like this something like this okay all right okay there was a, a fair bit of work done to it okay you get three year warranty with this i'll give you three year warranty with this amp okay if it's a full recap plus uh, repair, four years, okay? If it's just major, like power supply and all that, you get two years. There is no one out there, no tech company, okay, that will give warranty on these. Lucky if you get about, probably with this one, probably three months, six months. Make it 12 months, okay. But six months, I reckon. All right. Ring up, ring up. Okay. No one's going to give you the service that we do. No one. You usually have to drop it in and da, 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 blah, 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 and you know, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Now I'll explain something with warranty. Okay. I had a customer last week. Okay. Beautiful customer. He's given us probably about 10 items to repair. Okay. Oh, he says, you know, oh, look, you know, uh, the um what was it uh the yamaha that you repaired for me uh oh, it's 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 gone haywire okay i looked up uh, his data i mean this is going back oh, 12 months ago going back to his data okay because we'll keep it data on the computer and also hard copies okay what we've done to it so we looked at us so what's the problem and he goes oh look uh it comes on uh, but basically, uh, one channel is out, but the other channel is good. So I think it was the left that was out. The right was okay. All right. Okay. So I, was, I said to him, hang on for a minute. And he goes, oh, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just wanna, uh, what I, I want you to pick it up. Uh, I think he's in Melbourne. Okay. He's in. Um, anyway, look, he's in Melbourne. Anyway, and so I said, okay. So that's all that's wrong with it. It comes on and, you know, left channel is not working. Okay, right channel is working. Okay. So I looked at the data on our computer and basically we repaired the power supply. That's it. It's got nothing to do, nothing to do with the left channel or the right channel. We never touched that. So we repaired it. It, wasn't, uh, it was basically... Uh, no power, and we repaired the power supply only. 
okay? And he got two year warranty with it. So he, and then I, I was on the phone to him. Oh, he said, oh, okay. Oh, so it's not covered by warranty. I said, no, it's not. Because I've got to do an insurance claim and they've already got my paperwork. Oh, he goes, oh, are you kidding me? I said, yeah, unfortunately, it's a repair. It's, a, it's, a, it's an item that uh, uh, we've got to pick it up and basically start again. So your item comes up, uh, basically it powers up. If it didn't power up, then yes, you are covered by warranty. The two-year warranty, yes, if it falls in onto there. But if it's expired, well, we're not going to cover you, of course. You know, that's what everything. It's like if you buy a car, a new car today. The seven-year warranty or the five-year warranty runs out, well, look, you know, bad luck at your, at your expense. But the situation is, um, anyway, I'm in a good mood today, so so I was in a good mood. But I, I, I help customers. Look, you know, I, you know, because I'm in a good mood today because tomorrow one of my daughters getting married okay so giving her away we're gonna it's gonna be a beautiful wedding and um yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be lovely she's gorgeous one of my daughters she's blonde blue eyes she's beautiful she's gonna look stunning oh she's got a beautiful man anyway let's not talk about my kids but that's why i'm in a good mood anyway so I'm in a happy mood, right? Because I'm giving her away, you know, as a as a father, and I'm very proud of uh, all my kids. So the situation is, um, yeah, and I told him. I said, look, look. I said, look. Don't worry about it. Look, I'm going to help you out. Uh, so we'll pick it up. Uh, no, I said I'll come. Not yet, because I'm flat out. He said, no, no, I'm not in a hurry. You know that. So, you know, I've got plenty of uh, hi-fi gear. I said, no, no, no. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick it up. And we're going to um, have a look at it. So I've given him the date. And yeah, and um, we'll, do a note. we'll do a video on that one too as well. So so why, why the left channel is not working? There's always a reason. And it's not always the output uh, transformers and, you know, or the audio transform, whatever. It's not that. It's not even sometimes the caps. It could be a resistor. It could be anything. It could be a simple thing. All right? But we, we need it in our bench to have a look at it. Yeah, so just, just remember, yeah, you are covered, okay? But if you're covered... You only covered on that repair or as I said, you know what I mean? Recapping, yes, fully recapped, you are covered for the entire amp. Not a problem. But not fully. Okay, now listen to this. Fully recapped means yes, you are covered. Okay? But not fully if you're not getting the transistors. If you're not getting the transistors, the full kit with the transistors, or, well, you know, and something happens in the transistor section, then you're not covered. Does that make sense? So you are not covered. So if something, if I get the item and, and the warranty was only for the recapping, that means capacitors, electrolytic capacitors only, only, Okay, just remember that, not the mica caps, nothing, no, the ele electrolytic capacitors, okay? So basically, basically, if there's a transistor in that fault, well, you're not covered by warranty, that's a repair. Just to make it clear, that's a repair. All right, same with this, right? So with this one here, Okay, there was a fault. Okay, so transistors were replaced. Okay, and some recapping was done. Okay, or a fair bit of recapping actually, but it wasn't a full recap. So it wasn't in two, uh, sorry, four sections of the boards in this item. Okay, but if the customer rings me and says, Oh, you know, um, 
this and this and that. Da, da, da. Okay, all right. Okay. Look at the paperwork. Okay. Well, it's not. Well, it won't be. It's not covered. Okay, because it's not in those boards. The actual fault. You know what I mean? So hope I make that clear. So basically, he is getting the warranty for this three years for that items that I've just did. Okay, transistors and some recapping. Not all recapping on the amp. Because we checked the caps on these and they're fantastic. Even the, the power caps, they're beautiful. Full power caps. Big mamas. They're gorgeous. Okay, so basically, if he says to me, oh, look, the item's not working. All right, in what? Okay, the uh, volume control. Okay, so... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, we didn't repair that section or we didn't touch that section. You know, you've got to make it clear in the paperwork for customers to understand. And there's a lot of people out there, tech guys, even mechanics uh, in different profession. Okay. All right. They give warranty on their work, but they don't explain properly. You, you need to explain properly. Okay, it's like I, a long time ago, or about probably seven years ago, I did a a, a recapping on the, on a Yesu, all right, on a Yesu, one thousand, right, ham radio, okay, transceiver. It's a big mama. So gave it back to him. Just we did the recapping, because the item was working. Then he rings me and he says, "Oh, look, you know it's." Uh, I'm not getting uh, DX, okay, or, you know, okay, so I said I have to pick it up and uh, actually, no, sorry, sorry, he was in Queensland, he had to send it back, I said we'll cover you for the postage, not a problem, but if it's, if it's not our fault on the recapping, then I have to charge it, he goes, not a problem, okay, but he really didn't understand it much about the, uh, the warranty. So we got it in our bench, tested it, did all the uh, hocus pocus, and it was something else, okay? It wasn't the DX uh, section board, which, okay, it had nothing to do with the caps. There was three transistors, I remember very well. Had a bit of an argument with him, but he understood at the end. I calmed him down. I calmed myself down, okay? Because he spent a bit of money on, on 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 the item to get it recapped, and I and I appreciate that, okay. But with the service, we always clean the volume control, uh, 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 where all the pots, everything. Not only volume pots, but everything, tone, the, the whole lot. That's free service. It's got nothing to do with the um, with the uh, recapping or repair. That's what we do for our customers, okay. Because uh, it's no use pulling something apart and you're not going to do, you know what I mean? Clean it up. Give it a clean. So anyway, like this. This is all been cleaned. Everything's been cleaned. Switches, the whole lot. Okay. And um, so anyway, we had a bit of an argument. Eh, everything all right. Don't worry. We told each other where to go. Hey, from old school. We're all old school. We're not babies. All right. All right. Suck it up. Not like today's generation. Oh, I've been this. Oh, I've been that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, whatever, man. All right, don't do my head in. All right? Okay, don't cry. Uh, uh, go to mummy. All right, so anyway, we agreed. He was happy. He goes, I'm sorry about all that. I said, nah, no need to apologize. And I apologize to him because I told him where to go to. So, hey. But we're friends again, you know. And I, sp and I still speak to the guy. He's, he said, "Oh man," he said, it's "Still working, you know. It's still working." So that's good, man. It's a good, it's a good unit, the Yasu. It's a big, uh, probably about twenty kilos, twenty kgs. It's huge. And uh, yeah, we do all. We do ham radios, everything, the whole lot. But sometimes you can't repair them, unfortunately, because parts are getting scarce. But I'm lucky. I've got supplies in Japan. Right, Taiwan and Hong Kong. I still got the, you know, people out there that will chase original parts. 
But I'll go, at the moment I'm just going direct to Japan. I've got good supplies there. But sometimes the Taiwanese, they do carry a lot of original parts too. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm talking about transistors, you know what I mean? Special Specialised item, ICs and all that, you know. So I'm happy and I've got a lot of stock too. I've got heaps of stock. But you believe it or not, you can never have too many because unfortunately I can't have everything. I remember when I used to go to radio parts when I was working for Douglas Hi-Fi, okay? Because I was on the uh, on the on the sales team, but also I used to uh, repair stuff too, you know, at the at the back in South Melbourne, all right, uh, not in Burke Street, and uh, we used to have a, a working area in there. So we, yeah, it's extra money for Douglas Hi-Fi, and I used to go and get get in my car my old bomb, and uh, X the uh, Falcon, and I used to go there and used to uh, get the parts, but they used to say, oh, no, man, we haven't got this in stock, we have to order it. How long is that going to take? Look, hopefully Sydney's got it. If we haven't, um, we have to get it from Japan or, you know, from Sony or from the whatever. But usually what I used to do is, okay, I say, okay, do that, order it, but if it's a Sony, I used to go to, um, they used to be in um, Canterbury Road in uh, Camberwell. I used to go there, blah, blah, muck around, you know, you know, it's that fun. I used to get paid for it, so it doesn't worry, worry me, you know. It's just charging for the petrol. The good old days, you know, everybody knew where, they, where we stood together, you know. Not like today. Today, you just don't know. <laughs> yeah, anyway. It was a good working environment in my days and everybody was happy. You go home to your loved ones and the money's there, pay your mortgage, pay your bills, do this, do that, do that. Do. I used to love working. I worked for Brashes as a salesman as well. You know, Allen's, okay. I mean, the, the good days, you know. Like I, when I was on holidays, uh, I used to, like, have a part-time job at Allen's, you know, just selling bloody records, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so the good old days. But anyway, cut to the chase. So that's why. I said, I'm going to do a video regarding the, our warranty, okay? There is no one that can beat our warranty. There's nobody. No, no, I don't care who it is, you know? Uh, I love to know who. I know, I know a lot of tech people that do not, you know, give warranty, Okay. But we're covered because we're insurance, right? So so if you ring me and it's covered by the warranty, I'm laughing because I'll do a claim and they'll pay me the insurance in my pocket. I am. I'm, I'm being straightforward. I'm laughing. I'm making extra money. Okay? But yeah, just a warranty. Please note that, okay, it's not a gimmick. It's, 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 uh, it's legit. But... Do not ring us, you know, and argue with us regarding, um, because we've got the paperwork. We ask the customer to keep the paperwork. You must keep the paperwork. If you don't keep the paperwork, that's your fault. But we've got the paperwork because it's been signed, dated, and we've got our paperwork and we can give you a copy. Not a problem. If you lose it, we've got copies. We can also send it to you in a PDF file to your email. Not a problem, free of charge. But don't ring us and say, oh, you know, and abuse us and saying, oh, you know, um, oh, that's a covered bar. No, it's not. It's a, it's a repair. Now it's a repair. That was a recapping. We recapped the whole unit. It's got nothing to do with the caps. Right, it's got to do with something else. It could be an IC, it could be a transistor, uh, it could be uh, basically uh, uh, polypropylene uh, uh, capacitor, you know, it could be, uh, you know, you know, just a, a resistor. That's a repair. It's not covered by warranty. Okay? All right, so just touching base. And basically, look, uh, a warranty, it's good to have. Of course it is. You're spending money. Like this, this customer is, this 
very good customer of mine, right? And um, and a very good person. He's got a good heart. The situation is, I cover him by warranty. Of course I am. I'm doing the work for him. I'm working for him. He's my customer. He's my boss. So basically, all my customers, they're my bosses, you know? They'll tell me what they want. But then I'll tell them, okay, this is what you may need to fix that problem. And also, another thing. Now, once I give you a quote and you say, oh, how long is it going to take? Okay, please be patient because if I haven't got the stock, okay, I need to order it from overseas. Unfortunately, there is a lot of customers out there that don't accept that because, oh, they expect you to have every part. No, it's not. You can't have every part. Radio parts, and you're, they never used to have parts. Even now, now they're, they're hopeless now. You can't get nothing from them, basically. RS components, they're the only ones you can get, but sometimes RS components don't even have. This is why I have to, and I'm very, I've been blessed that I've got good suppliers overseas. I hardly buy anything from RS components. I hardly ever. I've got an account in there, a large account, they send me emails, oh, how you going, touching base, you need anything, blah, 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 blah. No, I say, sorry, don't need anything, you know. And they know, they're not stupid that I get stuff from overseas. Because believe it or not, they're quicker and they're legit, straight away. But sometimes it takes time. If I say to them, send it by DHL, uh, yeah, okay, well, we can do it, but still, what's the use sometimes, you know? Because you still got to wait for bloody customs to clear it. Oh, man, I tell you, Australian customs, I tell you, they need their ass smacked. All right? I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Holding my business and my customer, like they're holding them to ransom, you know? It's just ridiculous. Clear it, for Christ's sake. It's only a little part. Anyway, that's my riff for today. But anyway, that, that's the situation it is, okay? So be patient. And also, when we get the parts, we've got to install them, solder. If I do a mistake, and you and I switch on the amp or tape deck or your ham radio, whatever, whatever, in the electronic, and it blows up, that's my responsibility because I've done something wrong. Soldering is very important too. If you, can't, if you don't know how to solder, don't do it. You need to get it right. Temperature, everything, because you can damage the circuit board. You can do a lot of things, okay? With soldering iron, you can damage the circuit board. And then you'll be swearing your head off. Oh, what did I touch it? Oh, what? I've been there, done that. I've done a lot of mistakes, and I still keep on doing them. But then I have to cover the customer. I have to pay for it, you know? And I know what that is, trust me, I've, I've done a lot of mistakes. And I still do them, hey, we're not perfect. But soldering is very important. Putting the components, the new components, the right way as well, not the wrong way. Because then you end up blowing the component and you gotta order another one. When I, when I place an order, I only place an order, okay? So if there's one IC, I buy one IC. Because they're not cheap from Japan. Nothing's cheap now. You can't get away with it anymore. It's finished. Nothing, you know, it's all about money now. Making a, uh, a profit, a large profit. Well, that's fair enough. That's how it is today. But, yeah, so, yeah, be patient. Be patient and you're going to enjoy your item. You're going you're gonna to love it. You're going to sit down, listen to your music or, you know, Start talking on uh, on your transceiver, you know, ham radio operators, you know, enjoying yourself because you've got that product repaired. Okay, be patient, please. You know, help us out, help the tech people out. All right, don't go against them. It's not it's not nice. You know, and don't be rude to them either. You know, be, be courteous. You know, you know, because I mean, at the end. At the end, I'm not going to cop it. Either I hang up 
by the time where to go. I'll be straight out with people. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to lie to people. You know, but be courteous and I'll tell you, if you've got a good tech person and you're happy with him and he's treating you the right way, don't lose him. All right, be patient. Because he wants your business. Like you want your item to be repaired and enjoying it, eh? Enjoying your item. Isn't that the most important thing in, 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 your, in what you're doing? So all I say, just be patient, please, okay? So I hope I covered uh, everything on the warranty and uh, parts and all that. Yeah, with parts, you've got to be patient. That's all there is to it. So this one here is nearly ready to go to the customer. Probably next week, probably next week on the weekend. I'll catch up with him. But I'll, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, send him the invoice with the warranty. And yeah, so I'll do another recording. Uh, probably Sunday, because again, I've got my wedding's daughter, uh, my wedding, and <laughs> my daughter's wedding, <laughs> don't know, so I'm excited, my daughter's wedding tomorrow, so, so it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of people, you know, getting fat, and drinking too much, as usual, that's what you do in weddings, isn't it, having a good time and dance, so it's going to be a good wedding, yeah, so, and unfortunately, you know, Who's paying for it? Dada. Me. I have to pay for it, which is fair enough. I, you know, I love my kids, so I'll do anything for my kids. So so that's the way it is. So, yeah, so it's going to be a happy day tomorrow. So I hope your day will be happy tomorrow too as well. And bye.